the idea for the camera wiper came about from our own personal experience with uh, the GoPro in that um, it has a downfall when it gets dirty, the camera or the video after that is just ruined I and mean, you can't see it and um, plenty of great action has been ruined and just thrown away. So we um, decided as a group to come up with a solution to this problem and what we came up with was some way to clear the lens of the GoPro no matter if the debris was dirt, rain, um, mud, um, or snow. And we came up with several yes. ideas. It's that bottom part, dude. It collects in that little ridge and brings it right back. Once we had the motivation, we moved to the drawing board and brainstormed several interesting ideas, of which there's the obvious, rotary arm motion, and then linear arm motion, where the arms mounted onto rails. We thought of a high-speed clear disc, which spins and flings mud out centrifugally. We thought up of films that advance, films that peel. Uh, we even thought of uh, blasting the surface with compressed air to remove dirt. We started prototyping once we decided to use the rotary wiper design. We chose this because it was the simplest and what would be the most effective given the size of the camera. It was a very small area we had to wipe. We 3D printed the arms, which were bolted onto the factory servo arm, so it's you can buy everything out of the store and just bolt on our custom stuff. We use an RC servo as the wiper motor assembly. We use a servo controller offline. It's really easy to program. Um, the blades were made from weather stripping and gave us multiple blade types to test. We glued those to 3D printed arms. We had a little failure of the servo controller, but we just soldered it right back together. Stuck on the servo with some double stick tape started testing. So we used two different methods to test our product. The first was an indoor method, relatively simple. We mounted the camera on the table and we flung dirt at it to see how it fared. We got moderately good results, but we weren't really satisfied. So we decided to take it off-road, go outside in the orchard, and we had a mountain bike and we had a moped. and. We basically took it on this cool dirt road and we threw mud at it and it was pretty hectic, pretty fun and we actually got really good results. We were really happy with it. Yep. So now that we have a proof of concept, we can really start to work on the details, like the effectiveness of the wiper or the packaging. So it's really possible that we can miniaturize everything, make it lighter, uh, just make it more of a, a, a package deal uh, and make it marketable. So once we get through that, uh, you know, we could work on some, we can work on integrating it, making it just, uh, maybe just clip on. Uh, just make it easier to use. So one thing that we considered doing but didn't have time to pursue was uh, was automated sensing, uh, which would really improve the effectiveness overall because as we saw in some of the videos, after the first wipe you get a really clean sweep and beyond that it kind of smears it. Uh, so one of the things that we thought about was just having it do its job as it's needed uh, just once which would also improve uh, noise issues and other, and other uh, energy use issues, so we could go with a smaller battery. Uh, and there's just a lot of interesting ideas that we can go with to, to make it a marketable uh, package.